I'm Darren Wallace, Technical Service Representative for Amsoil, and I'm into tractors. We're located at the property of a very avid John Deere collector. He built this location here about 30 years ago. And for the past 25 years, my father and I have helped restore and build antique John Deere equipment. It basically works like an assembly line. A tractor comes in and it's dismantled in one area. There's another section where all the mechanical work is done, and then everything started to get assembled in another area. And while all that's happening, another tractor would be coming in and starting the same process. Some were still being used on a farm, but they were pretty beat up. Some would have bullet holes in them from sitting out in the woods, you know, from a hunter using it for target practice. Others would uh, come in and they'd be so full of water, they'd be frozen solid in the winter and you'd have to pull them in, let them thaw out for about a week before you could start working on them. Uh, if we couldn't find reproduction parts, we had to build them. So we had a metal rolling and fabrication area, and then we'd reassemble them and put them back together and then the final step was putting the decals back on. And that was usually the, the kind of the christening of a, a good restoration if you could figure out where all the decals went after you tore everything apart and put back together. So that was always the fun part. Well, as you can see, there are lots of tractors that I restored and worked on around here with my dad. This is the oldest one they got here. I think it's 1928. And then we even have some old crawlers and some different variations. This is an interesting one. This is a 1936 John Deere B. And this one is on all steel wheels. There was no rubber back then for some of these older pieces of equipment. And over the years, as the tractors evolved, they started to become more streamlined. They added more safety features. They even added little creature comforts. Like one of my favorite things was for many years, the John Deere tractor had a black seat. Well, the farmers complained about how hot those used to get in the summer. Eventually, they came out with yellow seats, which was a different option. So some of these newer ones have a different color scheme, on this, even on the seats. Once in a while, uh, you'll see me at a, a harvest reunion uh, or some place where there's, there's going to be a, a mix of everything, from old cars, old trucks, uh, homemade equipment to tractors, Any, anywhere there's something mechanical, I like to get out and, and participate and have some fun. Yeah, I've been playing music all my life too. We get hired uh, with one of our bands to play at car shows. When I'm not doing all of these other things, I actually do have a job at Amazon. I'm one of the technical service representatives. One of my primary duties there is to answer any questions you have about products. It's fun to take all of the different things I've, I've learned and apply them to the things that we do at AMSO. The fun part about restoring tractors is that you get to bring them back to life after they've been used really hard on the farm. Restoring tractors and working on tractors is a lot of fun. But the best reward is taking one out for a drive in the field and enjoying the ride. I'm Darren Wallace, Technical Service Representative for Amsoil, and I'm into tractors. <laughs>